नमस्ते लेडीज एंड जेंटलमैन इन दिस वीडियो इट्स बेसिकली एन इंट्रोडक्शन टू द वेरी कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ वाई वेदास वॉट रियली वेदास मीन एंड आर मेंट फॉर द सोसायटी एज अ होल एंड वाय दे आर इम्पॉर्टंट फॉर अ सोशल कॉज ऑर वॉट एवर इट इज द रीजन इज टूडे इन द प्रेजेंट सिनारियो वेर वी आर टेंडिंग टू सी दैट our vedas are uh, our vedas are getting extinct due to the invasion of advanced technologies or the technological advancement that is happening unfortunately for good or bad what we are not knowing is we do not uh, we are not, uh, we are overlapping the existing or that knowledge that coexisted during 50000 years back if we go about the point is we often as an individual think that vedas never existed though they are aparsha the aparsha and parsha aspect comes into picture the reason is we as human beings had to translate the same and the very base for this is the sound the science of sound that existed in the universe and this is where the concept of illusion and delusion comes into picture while do really vedas help one to understand himself or herself yes for sure the point is we need to get to a point where all of us as an individual start questioning who am i or what am i and do i really exist in the universe if we see whatever atom sub atom anu parmanu whatever it is have existed in the universe and there is nothing in the universe where you know it had a solidified uh, uh, solidified structure to it in fact if we really look at the very structure of the gods or the demigods whom we pray are both form both in form and formless but one needs to understand how they go about and how do we understand this the point is it has to be understood with the shabda bheda shabda prakarana from where the shabda bheda or the shabda prakarana or the sound 
or the sound variations happen and how do we decipher it and this is where the key aspect of vedas and upanishads come into picture once this society understands this this is where is the starting point or the renaissance or the revolutionary aspect of you know understanding the very conceptual understanding of the subjective and objective understanding of the vedas now one may ask if vedas are a portion how do we get to that when i say a portion it's the absence of the individual or the person person needs to have that intuitive or the intuition based study it's like meditating upon or you know imagining that that imagination power that intuition which really makes one understand one feel that yes i have understood this it has to be imbibed it has to be inscribed it has to be like you know you need to understand the very crux of the subject and the point here is one needs to have that uh, uh, you know uh, imagination in other words the divine you know we talk about the divinity or the divine subject or the divine object which is the primary force that helps one to understand this here is where one needs to understand to get that intuition one needs to concentrate on that shabdam shabda beda or the word word variation if we really see if we get to the universe or look at universe we have, we do not have anything other than and it's absolutely pitch dark and and if we translate the same the moment we translate the same uh, sound it's ma makara mm. i suppose we will be uh, hearing to this sound also right when you are in the deep meditation or a deep intuition just concentrate on this and the second sound if you really see uh, this is what is called intuition and this is where the starting point of vedas starts and to be frank or in precise if you ask me i as an individual got that intuition and started experiencing that the moment i so called naratla ramachandra this is just a name i am a parmanu that's all but anu is somewhere in the universe so
so basically before even starting understanding vedas one needs to really understand these sounds which matter a lot and most importantly you have to get that intuition based study or the meditative based study furthermore to understand this definitely scriptures would help you and scriptures needed to be understand as well because these scriptures had those sounds imbibed and inscribed this is what is the very introduction to the vedas and the primary starting point to understand vedas the vedas came from the word called vid vid is nothing but seed seed it's a seed that is existing and coexisting in the universe so ladies and gentlemen think about it thus i conclude this video with the introduction of vedas from this view point